Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Founders. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Polo and I love making videos of tall stories and decent collectibles. And as always, if you like this kind of content and you feel like supporting the channel, feel more than welcome to subscribe to it and that way you will not be missing out on any of my future videos. Now, today as we're um, already well into the holiday season, I thought we will unbox and review in detail the Monster High first um, holiday or holiday <laughs> edition doll and obviously they had to start with Draculaura and um, and I'm very excited. I thought uh, when I saw the promotional pictures and everything that um, I loved the doll, uh, but seriously in person, I think she gains uh, so much more than uh, what we can get from the promotional pictures and I haven't even taken her out of the box yet so anyway but we're going to uh, be doing that so I'll try to show you all her details and I'm super excited because Monster High um, is going to is going to continue with the holidays and uh, we recently saw a couple of pictures for the next one that's going to be centered around uh, Valentine's and that's for Cleo and Diz and uh, it's a lovely couple as well so I'm very excited that they they are treating us collectors um, you know very well um, releasing all these pieces that are um, you know um, just like an extension of G1 while they are still working on the G3 for the newer generations and that's awesome the only thing I could actually complain about is that the release um, I mean the release of these dolls are um, the releases are very uh, poorly handled in my opinion and so they end up um, being sold out really quickly and in the hands of the resellers and that is a pain as um as it happens with a lot of the disney collectibles as well but anyway i hope that metal creations uh sort that out at some point so they make it more difficult for uh, bots and stuff to get all these dolls Anyway, here she is. I'll try not to shake, but I'm super excited. <laughs> um, so the box, to my surprise, is very beautiful because um, I would imagine it's it's more like plain looking uh, when you look at it. But again, in person, it's a really nice box. I love everything about it, but the Monster High Holiday uh, logo being right in the middle. I think that should have been moved down a little so it wouldn't block the view as it does, uh, which is a bit of a pain. I know it's a trademark, so that means they will keep producing. Um, and obviously I think this will be a successful line, um, but again, like right around the center, um, I don't buy that. <laughs> uh, but other than that, it's very beautiful. So obviously this one is winter edition. Um, and we have references to Christmas and, you know, snowflakes and stuff. And uh, so there are two cutouts uh, on both sides with, I'll try to get closer with snowflakes and inside of the snowflakes are actually like a goat design, uh, a gothic design with the S collect. Uh, there's also these recurring um, pattern with a heart with uh, bat wings. And then there's also spiders uh, on like spider webs in the shape of a snowflake which is super cool here we have the s collect once again and over here it specifies winter edition and it's also in french for ages six and up um and she's perfectly displayed in the middle with the stand to one of the sides and i guess on the on the uh, back of it and then um, inside of the box, we can also see this beautiful um, background of the spider webs and, you know, like hanging ornaments almost, but they're like the same um, patterns that we can find on the front. And then to both sides of the box, we can, let's see if it focuses well, um, find all these patterns. It's quite thick, so I would say it's very similar to a um, S collector almost, like um, 
probably smaller, but um, it's a very it's a very thick and consistent box which I very much like, and so I'm planning to keep it um, that way. Here we have the other side, and then if we turn it around, we can see two promotional pictures of her. So here she's like walking down, um, you know, a fa high fashion uh, show. Um, I love this all so much, really, uh, because it's giving me, I, I don't know, I mean, when I look at her, I also kind of like, it's giving me Beetlejuice vibes with, you know, these stripes uh, in black and white, and I know that it's supposed to resemble all the things, but um, I'm actually dying <laughs> to try this outfit on the Lydia one. I will be taking these uh, other dolls from the S Collector line, the Beetlejuice edition, out of the box as well, and then I I will be playing around G1 uh, outfits for that so stay tuned if you want to watch that and then here we have um okay here we have it in four different languages I think is English Spanish uh, French and um, I think this is Portuguese uh yeah i think so um it's in between portuguese and, Port and italian but i think it's portuguese um i think so i don't know like, i'm a little bit confused at the moment but anyway because it's the first time i look at it um so in english um it says, Season's uh, Screamings, uh, Dracula trademark, is ready for a fabulous holiday season, dressed in a glittering gown with the spider web details and sheer coat with sparkling snowflake bots. Winter themed accessories, including candy cane, gloves, and ornament earrings, uh, complete her fantastic look. May your holidays uh, be a scary delight. Super cute as always. We love a piece of background, um, you know, introduction there um, and now what I'll do is take her out of the box and come back uh, to you with all her glorious details so on the back we have a certificate that I will just leave right there because I'm keeping the box um, so this is a certificate and right over here it was a base for the stand that we can actually find here and it has like this is a dark black color but it's somehow translucent with embedded glitter um, and the base is exactly the same but we have this pattern we can read monster high and it's just so pretty really and then we have the waist bracket so now I will show you the door and here we have her, and I have to say that this doll is absolutely gorgeous in person, and she has definitely exceeded my expectations. I think um, she's definitely so much better looking um, all the way around than um, what I was expecting from her. And I think that probably the reason for that is also that for us, like normal collectors, <laughs> I mean, I'm not working in a promotion with Mattel or anything like that we have to look out for her um, right after um, her release and sometimes we kind of depend on the resellers because unfortunately um, that that's the way it is and uh, most of the resellers that you know work with bots and things um, well they start um, reselling her for at least triple the price and for a higher price probably when you finally get the doll i mean if you're not getting her completely out you might not feel the details as much but when you do you might feel like a bit of a disappointment in the way that you feel like okay this doll is not worth uh what i end up you know or ended up paying but we always have to take in, into account when reviewing these or, you know, um, making a statement um, about these dolls, the retail price. I think that she's definitely worth every cent or every penny of the retail price. I mean, I would, I would say she's 10 out of 10 if you can get it for that price and even uh, the retail price and a little bit more or I would I would dare to say double the price. Not quite sure about triple the price. I would say that that would be really up to each individual 
and uh, but you have to take into account that there's no a lot of work involved or you know embroidery or things like that because it wasn't meant to um for the original retail price so you cannot compare these dolls with like any given designer um you know disney doll because um it isn't i mean it's supposed to be a cheaper collector doll that looks so awesome but we it doesn't have that level or uh, probably yeah when compared with the haunt uh couture i would say it's it's also you know um a little um less when it comes to to quality but then that's not a bad thing that's cool that's like um it's more easily accessible if scammers and resellers weren't there i guess um so i would say just wait for it for a nice um occasion and a price that would work for you and if you truly like the door um i think you will be really nicely surprised because the door is very beautiful and now we'll get close and we can um We'll be able to appreciate all the details the first thing that i noticed that i loved very much is the pastel pink color for her hair which is obviously saran hair and it's very long taking into account that she has a hairstyle into a very high ponytail um and then it goes all the way like past her butt <laughs> um and then she has this pattern with uh thick streaks of black hair um combined with the pastel pink um and then it's mis mix matched um like you know having a really nice effect as candy cane which i love and then on the back we can see that the pattern continues on the outer layer especially and she has glitter well glitter tinsel hair but the tinsel isn't a white tinsel but rather a tinsel that reflects only warm colors so it's almost like it's reflecting pink a little bit of like an iridescent in general but um this is very similar to the tinsel that uh, we could find for example for marco di perla from rainbow high that is not you know it's a it's a warm color tinsel um if that makes sense and it's super soft it doesn't have or i mean if it does it's just a very light amount of um styling you know but i don't think that mine um has um any of it or if it does it's just like ever so slightly as i was saying and the base color most of it it's just pastel pink which is very very beautiful and it's really nicely rooted i would say so that's for the hair and then um and then just centering our attention on her face she's just so so pretty i have to say that i will be comparing well i will be doing that right now so this is a g1 draculaura um and this is this one over here i feel that this one has a different skin complexion that's less pinkish and it's more of a natural color that is the exact same that they're using for the new g3 that we can find over here i don't know if you can tell the difference but yeah it's a bit more translucent um and a bit more like i, I don't know if it's aging because this is this is not a reproduction it's an it's an original from a long time ago and so probably the color has changed uh but that's what i can say about it just in general i don't feel is uh, i don't feel it as pink but uh, almost like human pinkish sort of like color in a way and then well the bangs have a little bit of like styling gel but it's just again ever so slightly very very similar to the one that we can find for the g3 dolls very different uh, than the g1 as you can see that it's like you know one solid uh piece and if we lift it a little we can appreciate um the eyebrows and the makeup uh which has a combination of pink and purple colors uh purple eyes um and a bit of a sheer white uh finish to it and then it has a v shape as well 
and then the beauty mark this time is a black heart with a spider web on top that resembles uh well a snowflake and that is super cute her uh, um, lip color is this bright pink um which is again very um very cute on her and then she's having these ornament earrings that are like so cute uh with bat on top um and the ornament balls hanging down in a i would say that is like a metallic pink color um yeah which i can't find anywhere else as such because the belt with the buckle um has a has more of a pearly effect and coloring to it um so that's that and basically the jewelry is composed of the earrings and these necklace choker slash armor piece i would say as it covers all her chest it goes around the neck and then it has the pattern of um this spider web with the heart uh with bat wings that we can also find for example here in the g3 earrings and and it's held with an elastic but obviously it's very tight around her as well and then um that's for the jewelry in general there's no more um the other plastic thing is the belt which is this very same color as the base um the stand and it has embedded glitter it has this draping sculpted effect um all around and it snaps on the back Alrighty, and then um, about the outfit, I just love the outfit so much. I think it's probably well along with the hair and the face. Well, I love it. I love everything, I guess. But along with the hair and the face, I think that the outfit um, is what appeal to me most. I think is really, um, really cute, and I can't wait to try it on other um, dolls with the same. Um, obviously the same body so um it is well before i continue i will show you i just forgot completely as part of the jewelry i guess she's got this tiara um that has a half um moon uh sort of like um yeah shape to it with the snowflake um elements and the spider web and the heart and all that and it has like a little ring that goes around the high pony so you can take it off um if you wanted to and place it on another doll like that like a ring that goes around a thick um you know streak of her um and then yeah the outfit is composed of this robe uh or over jacket robe uh, whatever you want to call it uh which is very nice it's quite you know it's very gothic in style it has the um triangular edge um you know making that um it's not hemmed or anything that's what i was saying i mean you cannot expect it to have like embroidered details or anything like that in reality it's cheaper than that but she's so perfect um it's just that sometimes when they um when you find her um for five times her retail price then it's like i don't know it really depends on what you want uh and if you truly like the doll uh but at the end of the day you're going to find like normal fabrics normal plastic accessories and yeah basically um that although the whole styling is again very good so i like the gothic robe with the puffy sleeves um then the robe is made out of these um organza slash net material it's something in between i would say and then it has this print over with glitter um that has the pattern of the snowflakes with s collect the spider webs etc and it's like all around the pattern goes even um you know through the puffy or onto um the puffy sleeves as well and the central portion of it um and then from the puffy sleeves we can see that it continues with a um translucent um soft material up to the elbow 
and that is all one piece if you were to take it off and then she's having this beautiful uh, candy cane inspired it's giving me a lot of like Tim Burton vibes in a way because there there's so many elements that Tim Burton um, makes uh, with these you know black and white pattern and also like the inner dress with these swirls it's very very Tim Burton in my opinion um, and then the gloves are made out of actual fabric and they're held um, with the ring um, assortment that um, goes from the middle finger all the way to the elbow and you can definitely remove that um, and yeah and then inside of it um there is this mini dress that's um, super cute again it has the pattern just on the front it does not continue on the back and the pattern is supposed to resemble a spider web that a, a spider web um that's very cute and it's printed over or stamped over a satin pink fabric and then here we have um her legs going down and I actually like um, the boots as well like probably from the front they aren't incredibly um, you know yeah um, popping um, out as much but when you inspect them or have a closer look to them and you feel the textured um, snowflakes as well and um, and the heel part of it they're pretty cool they have a bit of a platform and then on the heels uh the heels are sculpted to be like icicles or like a cut crystal formation uh which is very cute and yeah in general i think uh, she's just so pretty and um definitely again 10 out of 10 and if you can get her closer to the retail price, all the better. But I would totally recommend her. As such, I'm not sure, again, if I'm going to collect all the different holidays or holidays. Uh, but this one was a really nice starting point uh, to start with that. Um, and I hope that this review has been helpful. And if so, well, don't forget to like comment share and subscribe uh for now i hope you all stay safe and i'll see you very very soon bye bye